Greetings, everybody. I'm Pastor David Grogan, and I'm also the voice of Phoenix's Javelin. I uh, want to start out in the Bible, because this is where all of, uh, well, almost all of my commentary will be coming from, uh, or my commentary will be on the Word of God uh, stand sure. There's no changing it, no deviating from it. It stands sure. But um, I do want to start out once again in the scripture, in the book of Numbers, the 25th chapter. And I believe these few verses is going to explain to you um, the title of this broadcast, Finish the Javelin. Um, after I get finished reading the scriptures, I'll explain a little bit more. But I just, I've been on the air before, been off. I was back on, off, kind of in and out, you know, trying to get and the all, with all the thrills of life, you know, the ups and downs, I stayed busy besides YouTubing, worked a regular job and have family. And as a pastor, I spent time doing what I need to do to make sure that God's people, God's people are fed the word of God. It's my intention now to spend more time um, doing these broadcasts so that I can, you know, put my thoughts into what I feel is going on in society uh, and based on what the scripture says about it. So once again, I'm going to go to the book of Numbers, the 25th chapter. I'm going to be reading out of the Holy Scripture. I got my Bible right here. If you see me looking down, that's why I'm looking down because I'm reading the scripture. Uh, scriptures of no personal interpretation. So I'm going to read from the King James Version. Numbers, the 25th chapter, verses 6 through verse number 13. And the scripture reads as such, And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto the brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of Moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And when Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, saw it, he rose up from among the congregation and he took a javelin in his hand and he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel and those that died in the plague were 20 and 4,000. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest have turned my wrath away from the children of Israel while he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consume not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Wherefore, behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace, and he shall have it and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Because he was jealous, not jealous, but zealous for his God and made an atonement for the children of Israel. Thus saith the Word of God in the Holy Scripture. You know, uh, Phoenix Javelin, it's my intention, y'all, just as I was on the air before, is to, the Word of God is a power all by itself. The Word of God uh, cuts going in and cuts going out, as it says in the book of Acts, the fourth chapter, verse number 12. Uh, the Word of God is the power. The Word of God is set short. Phineas, when he saw the rebellious nature of this Israel light and this woman whom he flaunted in front of God's people into a tent, he became zealous and angry at the fact that this Israelite and this Midianitish woman flaunted their sin before God's people because God's people were mourning they were mourning because of the things that they had done. That because they had gotten out of sin. If you, you get a greater context of it, if you read your Bible, go into the scripture, Numbers, the 25th chapter, and read the, the chapter, and you will understand. And you'll get to just even more context to this great um, story about the history of Phineas. Phineas took that javelin in his hand. And because he was zealous for his God, he took that javelin, followed this 
Israelite man and this Midianitish woman into the tent and ran them through, even through her belly. The running through her belly would stay any um, generation that might come out of that wickedness. Listen to me, we're living in a wicked time. We're living in a wicked time. And for those of us who are the, of the household of faith, pastors, leaders in the church, many of them who have gone and have become just as morally bankrupt as a society that we live in, they have become reprobate. They have become very wicked in their ways and have forgotten how to even pick up a javelin, pick up the word of God and use it as a way to stay the wickedness that's in our time that we live in. And don't be confused because I'm not. I understand exactly what was taking place in this, uh, this story. God gave it to me to give to use Phineas and then Phineas's javelin as a way to get across to you and to get across to whoever will hear my videos that you can do wickedly or we can do wickedly if we determine to, but we will give an account to God and God's word sets the standard for what's right and what's wrong. God's word does that. God's word who he gave, it left for us to have that we could read it, that we could hold it in our hand and that we could examine ourselves to see if we're right by him. God's word sets the standard. God's word is the only offensive weapon that we need and that we have because even in the scripture where you put on the whole armor of God, uh, in the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, you know, the, the the defensive weapons or the defensive armory that God has given us is very clear how to use it, what it's for. But the word of God, the, the word of God, the only offensive weapon that we have, that we need is the word of God. And Phineas Javelin, it's just about that. I'm about the word. I'm about the word of God. Am I a perfect man? There's none perfect. No, not one, except for the son of God, who was Christ Jesus. He was the only perfect one that walked on the face of this earth without error, without sin. And because he did, he died for us that we could live. But Phineas was given this covenant with uh, God by God to uh, uh, for for his zeal, for his zeal that he had. Then Phineas was of the line of, of of Aaron, the Levitical, the Levites, the Levitical priesthood. So he himself, in his lineage, was the lineage of the priest, and he did what exactly what he should have done as a priest, and that is to take the word, or in this case, his javelin and run that Israelite and that Midianitish woman through for their open rebellion to, in front of Moses and God's people. So, you know, from this day forward, when you hear my videos and when you see my videos, I've done some videos, haven't gotten even 10, uh, 10 um, views on it, but that's all right. Not whining, not complaining. I'm going to do what God has told me to do down through the years to come. I'm getting to be kind of middle-aged. I'm middle-aged myself. I'm considered considered a senior. But there's, if God says so, there's still time for me to do the work that he has called for me to do. So if, people, listen to me. You can openly rebel against God if you want to. And we're seeing a lot of that in our society. We're seeing a lot of that in politics. I'll be covering a lot of this with the word. But I'm telling you something. That man and that woman, hell will be their home, is their home. The, fu the, the finality of it will come when Christ comes back and all are brought before the throne and them before the great white throne of judgment. All will be done at that time to seal their fate. Listen to me. The word comes to fix us uh, uh, 
it could do one of two things. It will just it, it will it will cause us to bow in pure rebellion, or it will cause us to bow in pure praise for God. But the word is all that's needed. Phineas is javelin. I'm all about the word. I thank God for saving me one day when I was yet in sin myself. He died on the cross. Christ died on the cross for my sins. And the word ran me through. The word ran me through. Caused me to examine myself. And praise be to God because of the blood of the cross. I was given a, another chance to get it right. So from this day forward, once you hear my videos and you hear uh, the title, you'll understand why the title. Once again, Numbers, the 25th chapter, verses 6 through 13. You can find and read it for yourself. Read the whole, uh, the whole uh, chapter for greater context. But once again, when you see me and you see this face, in my videos, you'll know why I'm doing what I'm doing. With that said, until we come back together in my next video, God bless you and farewell.